Taxonomy is the science of naming, describing, as well as classifying organisms. In order to study an organism, first we have to collect it. Therefore, collection is an important aspect of taxonomy. In this class, we will discuss about the common collection techniques. The first method is mist net. Mist nets are used by ornithologists and bat biologists to capture wild birds and bats for banding or other research projects. Mist nets are typically made of nylon or polyester mesh suspended between two poles, resembling a volleyball net. When properly deployed in the correct habitat, the nets are virtually invisible. Mist nets have shelves created by horizontally strong lines that create a loose, baggy pocket. When a bird or bat hits the net, it falls into this pocket, where it becomes tangled. The second method is the light traps, with or without ultraviolet light, attract certain insects. Light sources may include fluorescent lamps, mercury vapor lamps, black lights, or light-emitting diodes. Designs differ according to the behavior of the insects, being targeted. Many insects can see ultraviolet light. For this reason, a black light will attract different insects, than a regular incandescent light. The black light can be suspended in front of a white sheet, giving flying insects a surface on which to land and can be collected by hand. A black light trap is constructed by suspending a black light over a bucket, or other container, usually with a funnel inside. Insects fly to the light, fall down through the funnel into the bucket, and are then trapped inside the container. Different designs of the ultraviolet light traps, such as the Robinson trap are also used by entomologists for collecting nocturnal insects, especially moths. The third method is the malaise trap, which is a large, tent-like structure used for trapping, killing, and preserving flying insects, particularly hymenoptera like bees, ants, wasps, and diptera like mosquitoes, houseflies etc. The trap is made of a material, such as terrylene netting, and can be various colors. Next is the plankton net, which is an equipment used for collecting samples of plankton, in standing bodies of water. It consists of, a towing line, and bridles, nylon mesh net, and a cod end. Plankton nets are considered one of the oldest, simplest, and inexpensive methods of sampling plankton. The plankton net can be used for, both vertical and horizontal sampling. The next method is, the trawls and dredges, which are nets towed at various depths, to catch fish or shellfish. Trawl nets, which can be as large as a football field, are either dragged along the sea floor, or midway between the floor and the surface. The next method is, the collection net. Several different types of nets, are commonly used to actively collect insects. Aerial insect nets are used to collect flying insects. The bag of a butterfly net is generally constructed from a lightweight mesh to minimize damage to delicate butterfly wings. A sweep net is used to collect insects from grass and brush. It is similar to a butterfly net, except that the bag is generally constructed from more rugged material. The sweep net is swept back and forth through vegetation quickly, turning the opening from side to side and following a shallow figure 8 pattern. The collector walks forward while sweeping, and the net is moved through plants and grasses with force. This requires a heavy net fabric, such as sailcloth to prevent tearing, although light nets can be used, if swept less vigorously. Sweeping continues for some distance, and then the net is flipped over, with the bag hanging over the rim, trapping the insects, until they can be removed with a pooter. Other types of nets, used for collecting insects, include beading nets, and aquatic nets. Leaf litter sieves are used by coleopterists and to collect larvae. Another method is the aspirator, also known as a pooter, is a device used in the collection of insects, crustaceans, or other small fragile organisms, usually for scientific purposes. The most common designs consists of a small resealable jar or vial, the lid or stopper of which is penetrated by two tubes. On the inner end of one tube, fine mesh or another type of filter is attached, and this tube leads to the user's mouth. The end of the second tube projects into the collecting chamber, and its far end can then be placed over an insect or other small organism. The user sucks on the first tube, and the insect is drawn into the collecting chamber through the other. 
The next method is, a Tulgren funnel, also known as Berlaise funnel, or Berlaise trap, is an apparatus, used to extract living organisms, particularly arthropods, from samples of soil. The Tulgren funnel works by, creating a desiccation gradient over the sample, such that mobile organisms will move away from the dry environment, and fall into a collecting vessel, where they perish, and are preserved for examination. It has a funnel, containing the soil or litter, and a heat source, such as an electric lamp, that heats the litter. Animals escaping from the desiccation of the litter, descend through a filter into a preservative liquid in a receptacle. Next is, the flotation method, which is used to collect arthropods, eggs and pupae of insects, from soil or matted vegetation. The final method is, a killing jar, or killing bottle, is a device used by entomologists to kill, captured insects quickly and, with minimum damage. The jar, typically glass, must be hermetically sealable, and one design has a thin layer of hardened plaster of Paris, on the bottom to absorb the killing agent.